Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Astria Six-Sided Oracles. I wanted to play more of this because we got six different characters to play as, and I'd like to at least feature all of them. Uh, I really like this game, and I've been wanting to, I want to play more of it. So we're playing as Solarius, who is a little bit more risk-reward, which is odd to say because all of the characters are risk-reward, but in this case, a uh, dude hits himself fairly often, so we're just going to smack ourselves up a little bit, and then probably re-roll both of these die. I could also re-roll their die, but I don't necessarily want to. Alright, so not the best, not the worst. Go for the AoE. Oh, we've already taken that one out. That's nice. Oh, it does work. Okay, so I started with the Photon Glove. Uh, I just skipped the initial picks, uh, which increases the purification dealt by safe dice and starter dice. Uh, wait, oh, it only does it by one. Oh, because a starter die is not a safe die. Dang, I was kind of hoping there would be like safe starters, so it's a cumulative plus two. Alas, no. We also have this. Uh, shark Onslaught does one purification damage for each uh, shark uh, in my in my pool. Uh, so all of these, uh, I guess we can check my die later. Let's collect all. Uh, but any any die that has shark in the name does more. Ooh. This is spooky. Shark Counterflux. Five corruption yourself. Choose a die from your discard to draw and roll. That's interesting. We also have Wave Crasher. Let's go for Shark Counterflux. We also have Shark Payback. Screw it. All in on Shark. What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, let's see. Technically, we're maybe better off going for safe things, but whatever. And... Uh, I could go for a two safe die, maybe. Or we could just go for the money. Let's go for the money, because we're going to want to forge a bunch of die. Which, I might even want to look into getting a specific... Uh, some forge die to get rid of some spots that I don't like. Okay, so he's hitting me for three, and we look pretty safe. This is seven damage now, which is nice. Now he's hitting me. I'm honestly gonna let him. I can reroll his his die. Weird. All right. Well, that makes him do less damage to me. Works. I'm gonna let him hit me. This could backfire, but I think we'll be okay. Because, yeah, if we draw any of the die where it's like, hit self for six, then I'm in trouble. Shark Counterflux is the one scary one. Ooh, we're actually staring down the barrel of a lot of damage here. I guess I'm going to start with these two. Give me myself this re-roll. Okay, heal self. Now if I do this, we don't corrupt. We get close, but we don't corrupt. Uh, do we just have like a very safe die? Hide this for a second. What's our other die? We've got the shield. Unhide that. I think I'm going to go for the minor reroll. Perfect. Reroll these two. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so we got the we got the punch. We've knocked them out. I'm not going to be able to pull that off every single time. Uh, so we're going to take we're we're potentially going to be in in some danger here. Punch, light shield, and surf. Light shield could actually be pretty good for me. Punch is actually really good, but it's not shark. Sea quake, three wave tall enemies. Excratius, excratius, excruciatus. There we go. Like this would be good, but I think I'm still gonna skip. My pool's already full enough as it is. All right, let's go here. Random event. Open the golden chest. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna look at these for a hot second. I pretty much know what I want right off the bat. Uh, 
I like draw plus plus, but I think we're going to go for shark onslaught because more shark and big damage prevents your next heart loss until the end of enemy's turn. If this effect is triggered, fully fills your corruption meter with purification and refresh your virtues. Ooh, Indigo Soul would actually be really good, but we're going Shark. Oh, I get two? Shoot. Discard up to six die from your hand if you do th if you do th deal three purification. It's okay. High Tide. Double wave on an enemy if they have no wave. Apply wave. Apply wave. And discard a die from your hand. Eight wave to an enemy with the least corruption. I'm actually going to grab Marine off Offering, if only because that's a lot of damage and lets me get rid of a die. I kind of wish I could re-roll these, ironically enough. Um. Okay, Forge Shop. Okay. So I like Serenity. It costs a lot, though. We could also just go for a big old Purify. Serenity is nice. Uh, we could also duplicate... Wait, non... Oh, non-epic die. Star Shard cause tainted... Oh, it gets more expensive over time. Yeah, so I can't... I can't duplicate these. I don't really want to duplicate sharp payback. And we cannot get rid of this. Uh, because it is unforgeable. I think, I think I'm going to grab Serenity. And we're going to put it on top of... That one's tough. Because... I wouldn't mind putting it on, like, Shark Counterflux or one of the Shark Blows. I could put it on a Minor Shield. Do I want to get rid of a Minor Shield? I don't, actually. Yeah, I'll just put it there. And then, do we destroy a die? No, I don't think we do. I think we actually just save our money. Alright, let's do a tougher battle. This is not my first run with Solarius. I've been having a bit of a doozy of a time with him. Uh, let's see. Oh, choose a die from your discard to draw and roll. Alright, let's hit him for eight. And immediately roll Shark Onslaught again. Not my favorite. This one's spooky, though. Because if I roll this, we're in trouble. So I kind of don't want to touch it. What's, um... Well, they're hitting me for five. Oh. Hmm. They're hitting me for five. I'm gonna have to heal self. I think, yeah, I have to play this. So... I guess I'm gonna have to do that. I shouldn't let my my pursuit for damage put me in a bad spot here. Ooh, dice corruption value by one is actually really spooky on this lad. However, go for wave. Uh, this is the shield. If I roll that one, yeah, I can roll this one better. Let's see what we get. Alright. I'll take it. Um. I think I'm gonna have... Oh. Have to hit him. But we do that. And then we take no... I don't think we take any damage for this. Yeah, the problem is that Scaling Doom is going to make this uh, much worse for me. 
Oh, beauteous day. So this is going to hit for 16. That one's tougher. Because I should... No, I'm just going to take this guy out. Bit of waste of damage, but worth it. There's no way to remove Doom, is there? Well, on the plus side, I can just kind of wail on this guy. Uh, Oh, do we want to... Shield him instead? Let's do that, because he's been hitting himself. Two dice. Oh, I guess I could have re-rolled that. Oh, well. At least we can get rid of that one. Um... Okay, so the problem is I can't do either of these. I will just hit myself, and that'll be deadly. I can hit myself with it. Oh, it just doesn't get me to punch. But it's fine. And fortunately, those wounds die are going to make my life consistently worse. And there's not much I can do about it. I mean, here. I'm gonna go for the reroll. See if I get lucky. I do, actually. Kind of. Okay, heal self. Hit self. Get a double punch. Heal self again. And yeah, there's no way I'm... Not gonna hurt myself with that. Alright, we win. Barely. Oh, and Beauteous Day. Shark Payback. And that's why I keep that one around. Whew. I thought we were cooks. Okay, Defensive Boon, Shark Onslaught, or a Serenity. What's that? Oh, Torment to a Target. Eh. No, more Shark Onslaught. Oh, change die from your hand into area purify action for the rest of the run. That's actually really good. Actually, that's amazing. Because if I can do that to those those uh, shark, uh, the shark blows. Get rid of these and just make them area purifies. That's even better. Whenever you're a sentinel, deal corruption to an enemy, to wave to an enemy. Eh. Whenever an enemy dies, rerolls, receives three purification. Whenever you're a sentinel, deal corruption to an enemy, you receive three purification. Ooh. So I think I'm going to go for the trickster cross staff. And we'll just start rerolling enemy die more often. So we can destroy a die. Problem is, I want to go to the Forge Shop, but cannot. We don't want a Sentinel. We could dupe a die. What would I dupe? It won't let me dupe the uh, the epics. I'm noticing. Honestly, maybe we dupe this one. Either we dupe that one, or we dupe another Forge. I think my only beef with this is if I have too many of them, uh, then I'm not actually going to be able to do anything. Because otherwise we could invest in, like, uh, one of the shark blows. Or shark onslaughts. I'm going to go for that. Might be a mistake. We will see. So next question is, do I want to get a star blessing? I could, but then I'd be down to two hearts left, which could be a bit dicey going into a boss fight, but 
I don't know. Maybe I'll be fine. Okay, so what do we got? Whenever we deal corruption to an enemy with at least two corruption, decrease all die in your hand with corruption until one. Ignore doom. Eight balance die you play. Draw a safe die or a risky die. Or enemy gets over over corrupted. Gain two in power. Sage's card is like an extra die every two... No, it's not even every two rounds. I have a lot of safe die. So let's go for the Solarius Bell. I don't know if that was strictly worth it. I probably should have gone for the Star Shards. But whatever, it's turtle time. Alright, let's take a look. Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to hit myself here. Here, we can re-roll at least this one. Please give me what I want. Yes. Okay. So what do we want to fix? This one, this one. Probably this one. All right, there we go. So now I can still hit myself if I want to. Because it's going to have no downsides, and we're good. Yeah, I like the idea of those Forge die. I think eventually we'll maybe want to get rid of them. They got a lot of work to do, so... Probably not. Okay, unfortunately, Marine Offering is useless here. Yeah, wave to the enemy with the least amount of corruption, so... Does not help me. Bit of a downside. Hit him a couple of times. Shield self. And can't do anything with that one. He's over corrupted. So we get to do a little bit more damage to him. Wow. We have not harmed him much. It's okay. We're kind of a, a long con build anyway. I say that, but this is going to hurt. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. Because then I can do this. Let me re-roll a thing. What do we have? I can pull that back. Unfortunately, these two are on their best face, so I don't necessarily want the Forge Area Purify in this one. We could bring back a Shark Blow. Or I could bring back Starter Shield. Bring back Shark Blow, see what we get. The one face... I didn't want it to be. It's fine. There we go. Alright, then... Here's the tough part. I was going to do nine. I think I'm going to have to heal myself with it. Because, yeah, I'm going to hit him with those two. He's going to hit me for six. Oh. Any target. Oh, I was hoping that would apply to me. Well, here's the thing. What's the worst that could happen? We're still going to take the damage. Ouch. Alright. Last life, kind of, kind of risky. On the plus side, we just pulled our bangers. So, we do have the Forge Area Purify, which is pretty good. What about this? How much? 24 damage. Oh, baby. And then we also have a Shark Onslaught. Uh, I guess let's start with our Virtues.
I'm trying to decide. I'm just going to re-roll this one. And see what we get. Yeah. I'm going to make that an AoE. It does slightly less damage, but I like the ability to hit enemies and myself. And then we just win. Alright. And we get some goodies. Please more shark die. Okay, so we have an autonomous beacon. Unknown device in an armor, armillary sphere. We're going to... Wait, Sentinel die becomes a random die every time it's drawn. It can be a die that's available to you as a reward with a chance of becoming an epic die. We do have the just reroll sphere that hits stuff, or we have choose a die phase, which is actually really good. Um, oh, this is how we can see the reroll. So that one lets me choose a die phase, and this one lets me reroll a lot. I think I'm going to go for the Autonomous Beacon, uh, if only because being able to choose a die face is really good. Uh, especially for avoiding certain ouch hits. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Purification received by enemies. You do less... Deal one less Purification to yourself and Sentinels. Ouch. One additional die per turn. Start of each battle, four unholy mist to yourself. So, it does go down, though enemies can increase it. We do also have obsidian shackles, increase purification received by enemies by one. Deal one less to yourself and your sentinels. That one's risky. I'm going to go for the lamp, lamp of the mists. I can kind of deal with that. I probably could have dealt with maybe the other one too, but eh. Okay, so I want to go here, Forge Shop. Okay, so what do we have? Seven Purification, if they have four wave, draw a die, decrease wave. That's good. Uh, let's see, choose a die to roll. Ooh. And yeah, do I want to just grab these two? Because we barely do wave. Geyser Uppercut isn't that good. We might actually want to get rid of that one wave die. Yeah, where do I where do I even want to put this? I mean I could put it on Marine Offering just so we have something else. Or area purify. You know, honestly, I might as well actually start putting these on shark blow. Because we want to change all of these shark blows so they're doing like AoEs and stuff. There. I think I might want to get rid of that one wave die as well. Okay. Two days. Next X draw. Okay. So it shuffles my things. And they have randomized results. All right, so first and foremost, we've got an area purify. Let's just swap that one immediately. We also have shark payback. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much about that. Because I can't re-roll at the moment. So I guess I'm just going to hit myself with it. And which one am I aiming for? Probably the frontliner. Okay, and they're not going to do much damage to me. So I'm just going to wail on them. I just three corruption to a random target, and they're just going to apply days to me no matter what. So, yeah, we're just going to not re-roll anything. I guess I could have changed that and re-rolled that just to see what I get. Oh, well. Okay, so we've got a big shark blast. We've got... Oh, that's just shields. Shark blow, that, and that. Nothing particularly amazing. So this is going to do 27 damage. Uh, I'm going to hit him with it. Can I do 5 to myself? Yes. 
Because that way I can just punch that guy into oblivion. Very risk reward. Oh, we have shields. Uh, I guess heal self. I'm going to heal up a little bit. Yeah, because I wasn't quite able to harm him. It was disoriented to do. Uh, randomize my die values. That's fine. Okay. So we've got a... Forge Purify... Uh, hold up. I'm going to put it on this one. And then we have a reroll. So rather than going for the AoE, we're going to go for a Forge. I could shoot for a 2, but no. We can we can update our update and improve our die faces later. I'm just going to use those uh forge die as much as possible. Yeah, last video somebody was like, "You should double check what forge means." And uh now that I have, I am a convert. Wave Crasher, Mass Cleanse, Shark Typhoon. Can't. I can't. I want to go for shark, but too risky. This, on the other hand. Draw two dice, six corruption myself. And these are not required die either, so I could just sit on them if I can't play it. Worth it. Okay, can't recover a heart, but can sacrifice heart, gain money. Tempting. Huh. Yeah, we want to make some money so I can actually go to the Sentinel shop and upgrade it. Because I could also duplicate a die in my pool. The problem is most of the die I would duplicate are epics. Uh, actually... Star Shards, go here. We're not going to sacrifice a heart, we're just going to gain 100 Star Shards. And I could go shopping, but we're forging enough, so I think I'm, I'm not going to. Alright, ooh... These suckers are going to be adding a bunch of random junk to my pool. I'm not a fan. See, I have no means of re-rolling. So I guess I'm going to do that. Get this back. Do a punch. And probably work on healing myself a little bit. Wait, hold up. We want to use this. Then I'm going to hit myself, get it back. Not that it does a whole lot of damage. Okay. I'm not going to be hitting me for three. So I think I'm going to leave as is. Just go for the raw damage. We do have a re-roll. But I kind of don't want to. This guy's almost dead. That's going to solve our big issue. And technically, if I hadn't healed myself, I would have actually been able to take him out before he even hit me. I don't actually know if that's a good idea, though. Okay, so this is just a shield die. I think I'm going to boost self. Okay. Reroll these. Okay, we get a five. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to reroll both of these. 
because that heals me to full. Now what I can do is this risky die. Gets me two more die. Hurts me. Works out very much in my favor. Okay, he's just going to do Shatter Shield, so we don't have to worry about him too much. And I could do whatever I want. Oh. That works. Okay. And he's going to give us another bad die. We do have one silly option of I could use this die to switch it so he does self-corruption? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Z takes 10. And he doesn't self-corrupt often. There we go. Oh, I guess the one thing I could do with this epic die is actually start converting the faces over. Eventually. For now, I'm going to convert this face over. However, we're going to re-roll it. Yes. Uh, and yeah. Perfect. Okay. Keep going for those AoEs. Give him the wave for reasons. Oh, that's discarding die. Never mind. Unless... Oh, no, I can't play it. He's going to self-corrupt. But at this point, I think we're in a fine position. Alright. So none of these... I mean, this is our forged die. I guess the answer is hit self. Sort the rest out. There it is. I wonder if I can forge my allies die. That's a question. As hit him with everything we've got. Alright, so we have no more Shadow Mist. He's gonna do some amount of mantle on me, but I don't care. It's a weird build, but I kind of like it. Okay, so that's Forge Another Face. If I, AOE if I wanted, or I could get rid of something. Uh, you know what, actually? I got the health for this. Let's re-roll. I'm just going to convert the, uh, what are the wave faces over? Okay, I'm going to have to heal myself before I do anything else. Go for a re-roll. Re-roll this one. And this one. Okay, perfect. We can at least upcycle this to be an AoE. Roll that, and I can roll any die I want. Shouldn't do that one, though. Shouldn't do that one, either. Because, yeah, I don't have any other die I want to, like, mess with. We have a lot of options. It is a little risky. I almost wish I could increase my corruption meter just by, like, a bit. Just a bit. Forge wave, soothe mind, decrease one die of your hand of corruption by one until end of turn. Nah. And then we have Shark Lariat, which is just the most hilarious and terrifying thing. Destroy self. Destroy enemies. As much as I want those shark die... No. The mass cleanse. Geyser uppercut. No, I'm just going to skip these for the money. We've got a decent amount of shark damage. No sense bloating my pool with things that I can't use. If you deal 17 purification in a single turn... Exactly in a seven, uh, single turn. Gain empower an apex instinct. Ah. 
That's okay. We have one heart, you deal two additional purification, or start a battle, one in power for every six risk you die in your pool. I'm just going to go for with Azimuth Ring, just as kind of like a, oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, and we wanted to go up here. Improve Sentinel. I want to improve this guy so we get to choose our die faces often. Okay, so an upgrade, 200, worth it. We could do it again, but I don't have 250. Shoot. It only needs to be improved one more time. So... Or, no, two more times. Oh, well. Sacrifice a heart, gain money. Let's just go for the money. I find the blessings aren't as good. Oh. This looks like another playable character. Maybe. Okay. Corruption to a random sentinel. Whenever you play a virtue, doom to a random target. Over corruption goes up by one. Hmm. So it's almost saying don't use your virtues. Alright, that's fair. Uh, let's see. Is that peak damage? It is. Well, in that case. Wait, hold up. What is this? Doom to all sentinels. Random sentinels die into area corrupt action for the rest of battle. Oh. <coughs> Hopefully that's not my own. Uh, but I'm going to do bonus serenity. I'm going to need it on myself in retrospect. And I cannot use my own virtues. Because he's just going to be playing Doom. A lot. Yeah, so he is, he is messing with my own Sentinel's thighs. We do have an option. Silly as it is. I don't have it at the moment. I could try and kill my my own sentinel. Hmm. We have a void seek, but I almost kind of don't want to use it. Okay, I'm not going to take any damage. Well, I will. Oh, that hit him for 20. Yeah, do we just pass on these two? Yeah, I can't use either of them. Unless I use my virtues, but that's going to apply a bunch of doom. And I'd like to avoid that. Okay. Kind of lucky on a number of these. Uh, play that, but I think I'm going to go for the reroll. We might have to use the reroll action here. Uh, nope, we're lucky. All right, so we get a whole bunch of AoEs here. Pops me off night, nice and well. I'll do some shields, do that. I guess I probably could have actually shielded him. Oh well. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a whole lot of...
direct doom attacks. I do. They do. I have gotten rid of most of my direct doom, so that one has one. Damn. It's fine. Uh, let's see. I mean, we've got him down to halfway. I mean, we've done a decent amount of damage, so if I can get a Shark Vengeance, we're in a good spot. My main fear is that this sucker is going to become, um... Is going to just kill me. Okay. But I can take him out. You will not betray me, Sentinel. Alright, so he's just doomed himself. That doesn't look like too much of an issue for me. Let's see. Shield's up. He's not going to hit me for too much, so we don't have to worry about it. I think we're good. Yeah, so they can't do anything. And do these guys count as sentinels? They do not. So yeah, by nuking my own sentinel, we are now safe. Oh. That's probably a bad idea to get rid of all of the... Oh, wait. I should be doing this. It's probably a bad idea to get rid of all of those. But, on the flip side, eh. What's the worst thing that could happen, right? This is going to be the only boss that makes me need to kill my own sentinel, right? Fingers crossed. Okay. So we do have... I think I'm going to have to use... I think I'm going to have to use my virtues. How do I want to do this one? I don't have any extra rerolls, so we shouldn't use it. And the other flip side is... Oh no, we're going to be taking four. I'm going to have to use exactly one virtue. That's fine. We just won't use those to die. And like, admittedly, I could could actually just take some damage here and like lose a heart. But I get less points that way. Okay, so this one isn't a problem, actually. There. Oh, wave heals me too. That's cool. Alright, so we get a bunch of money. We get another boyo. No dice. Okay, so dice drive lets me draw more die, which I like. What is this? Decrease corruption, decrease. Oh. Oh, any type. And this guy's random chance. I think I'm going to go for Dice Drive. And also Heal Bot. So Defensive Light, High Tide, or, high tide or Wave. I do like Defensive Light. That is really good. Yeah. So extra purification to enemies, draw an additional die, or... Oh, it's just one additional die each turn. 
Why don't we just do this? Additional die per turn. Start a battle. Apply obscure to all enemies. After the first turn, you won't be able to see the over corruption meter of enemies with obscure. I think I'm going to go for that. I think I can pay for that. Or at least deal with it. Uh, so we, did, we do have a sentinel shop after some money. Um... I do have another sentinel shop in a better spot. Not really. Let's see how much I can get with this. Because I want my Sentinels to be really good. Okay, show dice. Oh, nope. Wait, let's go back to this one. Oh, that just lets me discard a die. Yeah, we don't care about those. Oh. Go for that first. Plus 350. Yeah. If I... Oh, wait, no. We didn't go for the thing that made me stunned. That's fine. Alright. So we've got the Spike Boy. And purification received from others. Okay, 10 and 14. What does this lad do? Reinforce all targets. Block cell purification decreased, decreases reinforced by one. Ah, okay. Interesting lad. Not too much of a problem. Okay, so that's a good one. That's a great one. Hold up. Let's start with this before I make any executive decisions. Oh. Hypersensitive aura. Ah, it's fine. You think I'd recognize that guy after the first time? Alas. Uh, let's see. One, two. Yeah, I could have gone for shields. That would have been the trick. All right. Oh, each time you've received. Interesting. Okay, so in that case, I'm just going to make this this one. And I think we're just going to start wailing on them. Let's start with the AoE. See how bad the damage is. Oh, interesting. Oh, the AoE... Perfect. I'm going to have to try this. We can mulligan the fight. Okay. Good to know. Hit that guy twice. He's still got thorns. That's going to do eight. Wait. But I can just kill him. There, problem solved. I think we're golden. It's a bit it's a bit of a mess. Okay, so we've got the marine offering and we've got this one. Let's um let's draw a die first. Just in case we get something better. Is this one? Yeah, let's reroll both of these. Pick this one. Just go for that. Forge this up. And then area purification galore. 
Just wail on the guy. There we go. Yeah, he hurts, but he doesn't hurt that bad. As long as I notice hypersensitive aura in time. If I don't, then then we have problems. All right, let's take a look. So we've got a reroll here. I might actually want to keep that one. Oh, uh, wait, hold up. Draw another die first. All right, changes some options. I think I'm just going to do this. Let's just get rid of that one. Big heals. Uh, let's see. Save that because that doesn't recharge. Hit him and myself. Go for one more heal. I can do the wave, but I don't really want to. Oh, and he's just down because 60 damage. Damn. All right. I lost a heart there. Oops. It's fine, maybe. None of these say shark. Apex Instinct would be cool, but not on this run. 30 dice in your die pool. Nope. We do play a lot of safe cards. Oh. Every four times you deal purification enemies, purify yourself once. It's not amazing, but it's still nice. Okay, I'd like to go back up here, but we don't have enough money. So... I guess let's go here. Let's go delete that wave die. Sharpen Fin. Purification to a target, Sharpen Fin. When you gain three, gain in power and lose all Sharpen Fin. Okay, oh, that's actually kind of good. We also have a Forged Purify, which is just Purify in a mount. I like Sharpen Fin, but probably not today. It's too late. Refreshing Headbutt. Three damage to an enemy. If they have six wave, refresh your virtues, decrease wave by three. So this is actually a lot of really good wave related dice out here. I originally passed on it because it's just like, what's the point of a thing that only hits enemies after you've taken one out? Like, I guess it's good for wiping the board after you've cleared one. 12 risky die, incorruptible. That's okay. Start of battle, refresh your virtues. Or end of the draw phase, reroll all die. In your uh, let's go for that. Being able to re-roll all of my dice once per round, if we get if we get a really stinky combo, seems like a good idea. So yeah, let's uh, let's get rid of this one. I just don't do wave. Oh, it's me. Alternatively, Dad. All right. So oh, this is this one's the DPS check. Yeah, it shouldn't be... Well, I'd say it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but we just drew all of our spicy dice. That's yeah, re-roll hand. Much better. Okay, so let's start with this one. And... Go for the bonus die. Yes. Yeah, Looks much nicer. Uh, heal self by one. Hit him for two. That way I can get the double punch in, in here. Okay, now he doesn't do any damage. He is going to do paralyzed, which is fewer dice per turn. Alternatively, why don't we say no to that? Oh, that's much better. Right. And I can't actually hurt him. He just goes down in a couple of rounds. See what he rolls. Oh, he rolls the good one. 
What is this? Minor shield, purification to a random target. Fair. Uh, let's see, we do also... Do we re-roll my hand? Yeah, sure. Okay, so balance die, choose a die from my discard, re-roll it. Oh. I should start with that, though. What are we going to re-roll? Frankly, Shark Surge. Beautiful. I just have to get my HP back. Draw a couple more dice. Ah, uh, it's even better than expected. Kind of. Draw another die. Reroll these two. See if I can get something undesirable. Oh, baby. Alright. And we're gonna re-roll this or switch it. So now we do Mega Shark. And I guess that doesn't do anything. And we'll save our virtues for the next round. Okay. A little bit more and he's down. He's wearing a shark helmet. Unlikely, but I wonder if it's a direct reference. Uh, do we like my hand? Not overwhelmingly. I don't hate it. Just wasn't amazing. It's better. Because, yeah, I want to keep using those forged die. Okay, so what's he doing? He's going to stun me. You know, maybe that's not su super bad. Uh, I guess let's go for the re-roll. Re-roll these two. Not really what I was going for, but whatever. There we go. He didn't he didn't get to do any damage to me. The stun is annoying. But it's only one more round. Oh, blessed be. Uh no, I don't want to re-roll my hand. I like this, because I want to get rid of that face. Draw another just in case it's one of the really good ones. It is not. Okay. Hit him, hit self. 18 purification right there. And then we could just end, but why would I do that when I can just keep hitting him? Going for the high score. Not that there's a high, high score against this shark. Okay, what do we have? Reroll, anchor push? Nah. Reef Song? What is this? Empower increases your virtues purifi purification as well until the end of your turn. Interesting. Not useful. Okay, six corruption on your meter, two additional purification. Draw extra die at the beginning. Enemy gets over corrupted, refresh your virtues. Let's start with another die right from the get go. Okay, uh, let's see, we're right at the end here. So let's go here, money, sentinel shop. Shark flux. I do it except for we have a lot of hurt self die. I guess I'm gonna... No, I'm not. What's this one? Light shield to a target... If played, dies returned to the pool. Ah, shield boomerang. Soothe mine or a shark strike. Which, like, shark strike is actually... 
vaguely tolerable. I think I'm still going to skip it, though. No, Sentinel Upgrade. Yeah, let's go for that one. Being able to pick my die 50% of the time just sounds really useful. And I might, I think I can re-roll that too. Uh, let's just recover a heart. I don't think there's anything after the death cube. Which, speaking of, we should probably be able to completely crush the death cube. Because I have a lot of AoE here. Am I happy with this? Yeah, pretty happy. Because we can forge this up, so it's not too bad. Draw another die. Nice shield. Uh, let's see. Reroll those two. Okay, that lets me pick a face. Wait, hold up. What's this do? Interesting. I could potentially prevent him from respawning his goons. That's kind of fun. Who is this? Corruption of the boss. Over corruption. I see. I mean, we do have the option of just repeatedly board wiping his basic goons. Oh, he had hollow skin. Shoot. I should have purified self. Oh, well. Uh, since I don't have anything else, let's go for this. Go for the bigger AoE. AoE 1, AoE 2. Zero purification. Yeah, we haven't hit... I haven't hit myself yet. And can't hit him with that. It's fine. Now, my goal to some degree is to... Oh, then increases reality disruption. Okay, so that's gonna be a little annoying. That's fine. I can work with these things. Namely, I just do so many AoEs that he can't really stop me. Yeah, so his reality disruption goes up, not down. And I have no way of changing that. Well, it's fine. And if he takes out my sentinels, so be it. Uh, yeah, it's reroll hand. I'll take it. The question is, what do we swap? What can I do? If I hurt self a little bit, we get a reroll. I think I'm going to want to re-roll not that one. I think I want to re-roll. Oh. I think I want to re-roll these two. Perfect. Alright, so we get big shield. Start by making this a 
to AoE. I don't think I'm going to be able to get... Uh, well, no. I can definitely get back up. Yeah. Let's go for this one. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Do we re-roll? Let's just re-roll that one. See if I can get something slightly nicer. Not really. Okay. Corrupt themselves. Corruption to the boss. That's yeah, not allowed. Ah, uh, die for my hand. Would be great if I could actually forge an enemy's die, but... It hit me, you goof. I am the one who needs to be harmed. It's fine. Okay. Anything else with this? No. I mean, like, maybe. But the problem is we already have shark pay back. So let's not. I'll just figure it out. So let's start with that. Uh, what is in here? Ooh, yeah, we, we got some. Okay, that's pretty close to perfect. There go his goons. Yeah, actually. Stupid as it is. Let's see, and this is a starter die, yeah? Perfect. Just hit him with whatever. I guess I could have maybe re-rolled a thing. Oh, right. I've got the double punch. There we go. No, he's got obscure. So I could actually debuff him if I get that again. I don't think we're going to be able to, but I also don't think it matters. Alright. I know, we did get it again. And he's not spawning more goons. So I'm barely hurt, so yeah, let's give him that. Uh. Yeah. Not exactly the, like... Best aggro round. Yes, he hasn't killed my sentinels yet. He may never. That is getting worse over time, but it's not too much of a problem. I'm pretty happy with this. Because, yeah, we can finally get rid of that. Hit him for 19. I guess I should... Probably shield my allies a smidge. But it's fine. We came out of that like an absolute bruiser. Nice. Alright. Oh, maybe there's only five characters. I don't know what the symbol at the top means. Oh, well. Uh, No, there's probably six playable characters. Maybe just the last one is the cube. We will see. So I've leveled up. So we're level two. Which unlocks new dice using these actions. So, Vendetta. Whenever receives corruption, apply X and power to this creature. Ooh, that's terrifying. I mean, I guess that's not that bad if you only use it, like, once. Because that makes it so you don't lose the empowerment. Start of each battle, gain one Vendetta. Apply two hidden to all enemies. So, that's really good. And then, deal one Purification. Start of each battle, apply Death Bomb to a random enemy. When enemies with Death Bomb are defeated, all enemies 
all targets receive corruption. Still kind of useful, and we have a kind of lizard uh, triceratops. It's a triceratops. We've got a triceratops. Sorry, I was thinking of an iguana, and I'm like, no, no, definitely bigger than that. And yeah, we're still on anomaly level one. I am not good enough at this game to like really justify going up in the anomaly levels, probably. Let's just take a look at this lad for a hot second. Guardian, Scepter, created by Lacertians, an almost extinct race specialized in the art of sculpting sentinels. Hevelius was devised with a special purpose of preserving their knowledge and protecting the Lacertians' astrarium. Full of mechanics around his tinkering skills, he's able to communicate with other sentinels and extract the maximum uh, maximum of their capabilities. Ooh. And yeah, there are six characters. I just don't know why the this top symbol at the end of the run looks different from the rest. I just want to see what his dice pool look like. Or looks like. So, enable a sentinel die. At, oh, sentinel die and immediately re-roll it. Repair a broken sentinel. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, definitely minion master. Most of his other starting die are kind of ho-hum, but that's fine. Start of a run, gain two random sentinels. You only have two hearts. At the end of your turn, apply one auto turret to all sentinels. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he seems pretty fun. For now, though, this is a good stopping point for me, so I will see you guys in the next episode of Astria Six-Sided Oracles. Like I said, I'm going to try and do at least one win with every single character. Um, It's a good warm-up game for me, and I just love this game too much to just leave it at one video. Uh, I don't generally go all in on roguelikes anymore just because busy and also YouTube's algorithm, but uh, I'll make an exception for this one. For now, though, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.